Um, beveling is an idea that uh, a lot of people who braid are familiar with, but it might not be something that a lot of people who are new are familiar with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, explain beveling and show you the tool that I use for that. So let me set these aside, and I will get my beveling tool. As you can see, this is the bevel box. Um, I put that on there when I first made this, and it's been fun ever since. So this is a tool that I use for doing what is called beveling. Um, as you can see, this is very simple. This is actually a, a piece of post, fence post, that I had uh, just as a result of some work that I did. And what I've done is, if you're looking at it, you can see on both sides, I've got lines marked in the side. Let me see if I can get a better view of this. So you can see right here, I've got a line marked. That's actually uh, been cut out using um, a stiff utility knife. You can also see one on the other side. Now this is the one that I use most frequently. Um, this is a 45 degree angle, so if you can look, what I've got here is I've used a utility knife, I've marked it with a pen, and then used a straight edge to cut a 45 degree angle. On top is what I have as a guide, which is really just a paint stick that's been uh, attached perfectly square to the line, and it actually abuts it. So what I have to make this work is I have a utility blade. These are available at Tandy. These are replacement blades. These are about, I think, $4 for 10 of them. What happens is the blade goes in here, and as you can see, it butts up right against the When you guide. cut something, you can see it's got square edges, flat edges, you know, when you run a saw through something. So when you're cutting your strands, the strands look very similar to this. They've got flat edges. We don't want flat edges. What we want is for, if this is the facing side of our leather, we want the leather to go like this, at least in, in my particular case. Some people will bevel actually like this, across and across. I use um, a bevel where the top is the full size and the bottom is the side that's beveled. So what I'm going to do is run each of my strands through here to take off a piece of the leather starting here and cutting down. What happens is that when you braid and you roll your braided pieces after you're done braiding them, it compresses those edges into the sides and actually makes a much flatter, much neater looking braid. So what you can see is I've got my blade inserted here, and if you turn this around, what I've got is I've got just a regular clamp available in any hardware store for about four bucks, five bucks. I attach it here and tighten it, and that's what holds the blade in. Once that blade is in place and uh, fixed solidly, then I can go ahead and do the beveling, and I'll show you that step next. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my beveler set up. What I've got here is just a desktop vise. Um, it's handy just for holding the beveler in place, but it, it will work fine without it. In fact, uh, I used to do a lot of beveling before I got this vise, so it works just fine. Um, all I've got is the exact same setup I showed you before, which is my beveler, I've got my blade installed, I've got my guide, uh, I've got the clamp to hold the blade in place. The only other thing I have is an old um, card of any kind. In my case, I'm using a, an old Starbucks card. Um, anybody who knows me will know that I probably uh, go through more coffee than anybody probably rightfully should. But be that as it may, get a card, you know, old credit card, um, you know, if you don't want anything of value, hotel room keys, that kind of thing. And all I use this for is to hold the leather down when I run it through the beveler. So as you can see, I'm putting the leather facing side down, uh, flesh side up. I put my card down to hold it in place, and I simply run it through. And as you can see, on the edge, it's taking off that piece of leather, and it's creating that angle on this side that I was discussing. So in my particular case, I'm using a 45 degree angle. I had played around, as you can see from the line on the other side, with other angles, but uh, 45 ultimately was the one that I was happiest with and most comfortable with. So I'm cutting my strands through, and you could watch me do this for hours and hours and hours, but ultimately that's what you're looking for. Now let's see if you can see what I've done here. Is here you've got the flat side, let me back that up a little bit, and now you can see I've got this beveled side, which actually has the angle on it. So I'm going to run all of these strands that you see here through the beveler, 